So in this video, we're going to talk about property insurance and renter's insurance. So when you are a homeowner, you're going to likely have homeowner's insurance and it's going to cover the following things. So it'll cover you from fire and smoke damage. So if there's a fire in your house and the fire causes damage or the smoke that is coming from the fire causes damage, then the homeowner's insurance policy will cover that wind and hail, including falling objects caused by them. So, um, you know, if you have a tree next to your house and there's a windstorm or a hailstorm and a branch falls and damages your house, the property insurance will cover that. Theft and vandalism. So if someone breaks into your house, uh, steals something, spray paints, you know, the walls, uh, you know, your property insurance will cover you uh, to kind of fix your house or replace the items. Water damage. So this actually happened to a rental property that I own. Um, the pipe that supplies the dishwasher with hot water, um, basically while the tenants were gone, it busted. Uh, there was like just a small hole and it was the hot water. So the entire property uh, filled up with steam. Um, and it was like that for, I don't know, maybe a week while these, while the tenants were gone. So it was really bad timing because if they were there, they could have just, you know, immediately fixed it. So, you know, the entire, all the kitchen cabinets and, you know, the, there was a uh, water damage on the wind, like even the upstairs kind of windows. Um, so it was pretty bad, but the insurance, uh, covered, uh, the repairs to all that. And also the, just like the mold kind of, uh, you know, mold mitigation, cause there was some mold that grew because there was so much moisture in the house. Uh, so damage from vehicle, aircraft, lightning strikes. So if a car just, you know, ran into your house, drunk driver or something, then your insurance would cover, uh, the repairs from that explosion. Liability. So you get some liability coverage, uh, for certain things from your property insurance, like, uh, you know, some policies will cover if there's so if there if you have a dog and it bites somebody on your property, um, if someone slips and falls, you know, there's some liability coverage, but you should read your policy for the details on this. And, um, you know, we're going to talk about umbrella liability coverage in another video, but it could be worthwhile to get umbrella liability coverage on top of this property coverage because your property insurance may not cover, you know, some of the risks that may exist on your property and that you feel like you'd like to be protected from. Okay, so what's not covered? So flood, earthquake, and maintenance. So flood and earthquake coverage are usually in separate insurance policies. And the flood insurance uh, and obviously the earthquake insurance are location dependent. So if you live in a flood zone or earthquake zone, you know, the, the premiums for those are actually pretty expensive in maintenance, you know, so if, you know, if you just regular wear and tear on your, on your house, the property insurance is not going to cover that. Okay. So just some other considerations. So if you have a mortgage, your lender will require you to carry homeowner's insurance. So it won't even be optional. Um, if you own your home outright, um, you know, just all cash, you could theoretically not get homeowner's insurance, but I don't think that's recommended. Um, you know, you could, you could suffer a total loss if there's a fire or some, some other kind of thing. So, uh, it's, it's probably worth having insurance, even if you're not required to by your lender. If you own a condo, the HOA, the homeowners association will sometimes carry insurance. Uh, and this is typically for the exterior of the structures since uh, condos have shared roofs, walls, and plumbing, but it's also worthwhile to check what the policy covers because sometimes it even covers the plumbing that's inside your unit. Um, so the HOA, if you live uh, in an HOA kind of situation with a condo that has shared walls with other homeowners, uh, it's worth looking at what the coverage that the HOA has. And so typically the cost of home insurance is fifteen hundred to twenty five hundred dollars per year in California. So that's just kind of to give you an idea of the ballpark cost. Okay, so property insurance was for if you own your home, but if you rent, then you can also get insurance because 
basically your landlord will not necessarily cover losses that happen while you are renting. So it is on you as the renter to carry insurance to cover your possessions and also personal liability. So if you're renting in an apartment or a house and you have a dog and someone that's at your house gets bitten by the dog and sues you, uh, the landlord is not going to cover you in any way. It's on you to have uh, some, you know, protection from that kind of liability. Um, and also if, you know, if there's a fire in the apartment and you lose all your things, the landlord is not going to cover the the losses for your stuff. So, um, it's worthwhile to maybe consider getting renter's insurance. So what does renter's insurance cover? So personal property loss. So, you know, if there's a fire or theft or whatever, um, and things are stolen or destroyed, uh, the renter's insurance will cover that. Loss of use. So uh, I mentioned this uh, accident that happened in a rental property that I own where it was just full of water. So when the people, the renters came back uh, from their vacation, you know, the house was not really livable. So uh, luckily they had renters insurance that covered a hotel or alternative housing while the unit was being fixed. So the renters insurance does have some coverage for that. Personal liability. So again, I mentioned you know the dog bite or someone slipping or whatever. Something happens at your residence. You know you could be liable or someone could think you're liable. So having some personal liability coverage through renters insurance might be a good idea. And then medical payments to others for incidents that happen at your rental, kind of related to the personal liability.